All right, dogs, it is final exam week, and Geocon is going to be mathing up some rafters as a portion of their final exam. For the math component, they got to do all the calculations that go into a rafter, and for construction, they got to lay it out. So I put some random numbers on here. We're going to go through all the calculations to help them study for their test, and I know you guys. I know you guys want to learn about rafters, so let's get into it. First thing you got to do is I take my building width of 67 inches, uh, and I'm going to cut it in half, so divide 67 by 2, and I get 33.5 inches, but... That is not my run to math with. When you look closely at this diagram, I have this triangle that is formed within the whole structure. And I actually come in half of my ridge right here, and then I extend out whatever my sheeting is. So those are the numbers that I gotta factor in. Well, my ridge thickness is inch and a half. Half of that is three quarters of an inch. And then my sheeting is, there we go, half an inch. So I'm just gonna add that right to the end, and that'll create this right triangle that I can math up. So I got all my work there of subtracting off half the ridge, adding the sheeting, we get 33.25 or 33 and a quarter. That is my run to math with. Now I can set up a proportion with the pitch of my roof, which is 812, to get my height. So I got a pitch of 812, which is my rise over my run, with my height, which is a rise over my run to math with. Let's cross multiply and solve for that height. And I get 22.16 inches repeating, which I can actually draw in this triangle right here. Here's my run to math with. Here's my height. I got a right triangle. How do we solve for my hypotenuse? Greatest theorem of all time, Pythagorean theorem. So here's how I like to type it in my calculator. I'm going to square that previous answer, my height, and then I'm going to add in the 33.25 squared, hit enter, then I'm going to square root that. So to do that, I'm going to hit second x squared, and then I will arrow up copy that number down, hit enter, and I get the 39.961 and change, which I can now convert into 16th. So I'll subtract off my integer of 39, hit enter, then I'm gonna multiply by 16, one six, this is really difficult because this is all mirrored for me right now, hit enter, and I get 15.38. So we got 39 and 15 sixteenths for my rafter length from plum cut to plum cut. So there we have it, 39 and 15 sixteenths. I just added my six inch overhang. Again, that was just a random number that I picked to add in there. And now we can actually lay this thing out. And that's how we're going to figure out our angles because in Geocon, we actually don't know trig yet. So we're gonna use the speed square to tell us. Now, some of these speed squares are really nice. They actually have it written on there. I got an eight pitch is 33.75 degrees, which means that my other angle, if I take 90 minus 33.75, I get 56.25. So those are my two angles I'm gonna work with.